<clears throat> Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Thursday morning, 5.35 a.m. right now. Just came for the daily work. Just came for the daily work, you know. And uh, yesterday, yesterday I was talking about uh, the relationship thing, you know, the bunch of relationship I had and uh, all the failures. Uh, while I was talking, uh, you know, the video was over. And uh, also I started pranking, you know, the... Uh, now I am just using the phone and camera. I am looking for. Uh, I I still have the other camera and the wireless mic as well. I can still do the other public pranks. Uh, I am I am thinking about doing it, but the thing is, you know, it takes a lot of time uh, to do that uh, as a one person man. If I have another fucking person, I can grow a YouTube channel really fast. I can grow a YouTube channel really fast. But the thing is, uh, you know, nobody's willing to, everybody's scared, like police will catch them. And uh, so many, so many, they have social uh, fear and so many things. So I am, I had to find the right person. Uh, the way to find the right person is if anybody, I have to see if anybody in the Windsor are uh, doing the YouTube prank channels and uh, join them, you know, join them and help them grow. And also uh, by helping them grow, I will grow as well that's how it will go <coughs> so i had to collaborate with some people it's hard to do everything by alone and none of my friends are interested in these things so you have to see who are the like-minded people and uh, you have to connect with them that's how you can grow fast uh, that's my target uh, the prank channel i opened all the videos i made it to public i know there are a bunch of weird uh, videos like <laughs> i make like a uh, fucking in public you know like uh, I pretend like I'm uh, like <laughs> doing that, uh, having sex with a wall or something. That's all weird stuff like uh, six years ago. Uh, it's look weird because at the time I don't even know much English. That's the time I arrived Canada, like uh, came earlier to Canada. So I didn't really know much English because of my eyes. From the early ages I studied in my first language. Uh, the, where, the first time I came, actually I studied nursing. <clears throat> nursing uh, also uh, English but that's the only course I took uh, English that's the only uh, no, diploma high national diploma I studied in English and then I came back to Canada uh, Canada now uh, now uh, I developed a lot because uh, here uh, actually university developed much better than uh, any other place because uh, even when I'm in Toronto, I talk uh, in my own language and with my family and stuff. But uh, when I come here, University of Windsor, I just have to talk in English. So that's how I developed uh, so fast. Developed so fast. So that's how it went. And yesterday I was talking about the girl thing, you know, the a bunch of uh, girls I loved and uh, fucked up everything. And it all made me miserable and stuff. Um, and uh, now I remember why I even started the prank channel. Uh, the I said the uh, Philippine girl, uh, Philippine girl effect is really bad. The Philippine girl effect is really bad. Like uh, I thought it will hundred percent work. That's how I thought uh, because she was so into me. Like she put her legs, uh, you know, playing with him and stuff. So I thought, uh, okay, that will work out uh, for sure. And I developed a lot of expectation. You know what happened? What happened? What can you do? and so many things I was talking and I was even uh, very very attached to her and that one screwed me a lot I was suicidal and uh, even I went to the railway station and I was about to jump to the train and then I thought man uh, the girl is actually um, she is gonna be happy like she did this thing and she's being rude uh, she's gonna be happy why not uh, try something to make yourself better uh, make yourself better and uh, do something uh, even I, I, I like I feel even angry to her you know I, I kind of feel cheated and stuff but uh, actually I cannot I, I, I think you know people have different different expectations so at the time you know I, I have not even developed so feeling angry is something normal to the human so I was angry I was angry but uh, uh, to be honest I Hi, good morning. So, to be honest, uh, you know, uh, there, there's nothing to be angry at all. I cannot be angry because people have their own decision, they make their choices. 
uh, you know i cannot be angry um if i be if you know any human being uh, if you are developing anger mean um, there is something wrong in you you are expecting certain things from uh, other people like you have control the angry emotion is uh, uh, not a really healthy emotion uh, not really healthy uh, that's why you know even uh, even people treat me bad people do so many crazy things to me i don't really feel anger if i feel anger i ask myself what did i do wrong that makes me feel like this like that's how i question and also everything when you put blame on yourself um, the anger will go away so because uh, when you take responsibility you you know why anger because you think someone else is in control that person did this and that's fucked you up and this person did this that fucked you up so when you think like that uh, you're going to be angry as fuck you're going to be angry as fuck uh, you know that's why i don't feel angry at anybody like uh, even though people b- b- being mean racist and all the stuff uh, i don't really angry because uh, they are circum- that, that's how they grew up you know and even uh, this uh, uh, this girl uh, doing this to me like uh, she has different different expectations you know like uh, not everybody has the same uh, thing i don't even watch movies i don't even uh, look at this love stories and stuff i don't know how people do those things i just do, do with my own mind so those people you know they might have read something they might see something so they uh, differ, expect different approaches you know they expect you have to be like this if you are a man uh, you have to be like that and stuff like that so they have certain certain expectation so when you don't know and do stuff uh, you know in their point of view that looks like bad so that's the that's why they are feeling angry that's why they are feeling angry so i cannot uh, do anything you know but uh, if i am doing certain things and they, that makes them angry it means they don't know about me because because uh, i never feel uh, bad for anything i do because i never had a bad intention toward anybody uh, even the girl i am uh, love with i uh, see my thing i am just screwing her up i am being uh, ego and all the stuff but i'm not really i'm not really being ego or anything actually i think like uh, okay uh, okay why everything happened okay let's uh, let's start from the beginning first of all you know we had this thing um, yeah she was uh, we were together and i thought she liked me i i even tried uh, so many things to to get to get close to her you know but she was like um, she is not really interested and all the stuff and she had the other guy as well so i was really confused what's going on like what's going on man she is so interested she doesn't want to come she would doesn't want to like uh, i asked to to study with me and stuff she doesn't want to come and uh, this guy was there um, so what's going on i was confused i was confused and um, that's why you know finally i tried so many things didn't work at the end of the class i asked her out um, asked her out she said uh, she has a boyfriend like actually she said she's seeing someone i don't know what is that mean uh, i thought that's boyfriend <laughs> so uh, seeing someone so see he doesn't allow me to do that so i thought okay she he seems like muslim she might be very religious uh, very strict in the relationship so there's no point i'm trying there's no point i'm trying uh, there's no point in trying that's how i thought uh, i thought even if i talk with her she feel like i'm bothering her or something like that that's why i didn't want to approach her really much uh, because i don't want to bother anybody if they are interested then i am ready to talk with them you know uh, that's how i thought then next semester uh, then she uh, kind of so i thought okay is she real or is she just playing with me is she real so i have this confusion i have this confusion i don't know what to do and uh, suddenly you know suddenly one class just fucked me up i was like frustrated as fuck um it was uh, engineering economic class she just came and kissed kissed that guy in front of everybody those guys are laughing at me i was like what's going on what's going on is she liking me or is she like this guy is his boyfriend uh, or just a friend or just is uh, making a scene oh i was like so many so many confusions 
and what is she expecting from me? I was being clear. I made myself clear. What was she expecting? Is it bad to go fast? Is it bad to, uh, you know, do something crazily? Um, even my friends warned me, don't do something crazy. So, so many, so many confusion because, you know, she grew up in this culture over here, this uh, Canadian culture. For them, certain thing is normal, certain thing is not normal. And back home, I, in my back home, we just stick with one girl and that's forever, you know, that's how we stick. And she has this kind of thing going. I was like, what's going on, man? And she was angry. Uh, I was like, what's really going on? She has this guy and uh, this, and uh, um, they say I'm not caring. Uh, what do you mean care? Like, what should I do? <laughs> so, so many, so many crazy things like, uh, I, uh, for, to be honest, uh, everything happening because I they really don't know, man. Like I, I fucking, I admit it. I admit it. I, I just, uh, uh, I, I just want to be honest and be r real in front of them face to face. And uh, I don't want to play around, uh, you know, trauma. Uh, I don't want to deal with it. That's the, that's what I hate, you know, uh, when they do this and um, that's kind of. Uh, that's why even uh, I'm having the psychological issues because that's so much, so much confusion. You know, if I, if she like me and I like, then why don't just simple thing? Uh, then why this guy? And then why in the middle of science? Why the why all this? You know, so that what frustrated me. You know? uh, so I'm not really intended to you know being mean to her or being ego. I'm a big guy, no. I have no nothing like that. I don't even care uh, how people even say about me. Even if they say dumb, okay, I'll say okay. If I am dumb, you know, uh, the smartness, you know, uh, whatever you are gifted with as a baby, that's it. Smartness is no, not something you develop. It's all you know, effort. Effort you can increase, but uh, smartness. Uh, that's you should say. Be more intelligent. That's uh, stupid as fuck because intelligence is certain level. That's uh, if that's the IQ that given to you, that's the IQ. You cannot develop intelligence, you know. You cannot develop intelligence uh, like that. But uh, hard work, like you can put a lot of effort and make much more better results. But uh, intelligence, uh, uh, be more beautiful. You know, if she's born beautiful, she's beautiful. Uh, but you know, certain people are gifted with certain things. So we cannot say be more intelligent. If I am like this, okay, that's like this. If there are consequences I'm gonna get, okay, let's go get it, you know. So uh, I feel like I don't have much control toward other people. Uh, yesterday I was interviewing with this guy and he was saying, yeah, if, she, if the other person doesn't like you, you can make them like you, you know, make them like you. So that's how it went. That's how it went, and then uh, yeah, today I'm gonna take a talk about uh, post like there's no algorithm. Post like there's no algorithm. What do I mean by that is people have a certain certain experience. People say, okay, I have certain kind of niche, and if I post something else, uh, the channel doesn't grow fast. Uh, so they avoid certain content. Say they say, how can I mix it up? How can I mix it up? Post is like there's no uh, there's no algorithm you know you you are fishing for likes the bad strategy is fishing for likes the algorithm and followers that's bad strategy put your stuff mix it up and uh, the way you you figured out this work very well because you mixed so, so many things and something get a lot of like then how then how you, that's how you develop the sense of uh, picking up the algorithm you know picking up alg algorithm but if the algorithm changes all the time it means there's no algorithm post it like there's no algorithm mix with, with everything you know mix with everything uh, because if you post the same shit it's going to be boring as fuck so that's why mix up everything and don't worry about algorithm don't worry about likes don't worry about followers that's the topic today see you guys later